Aunt Jessica believed in fighting for people who were in need. She wanted to help as many people as possible. Aunt Jessica was introduced to civil rights because of her family. Her mom and aunt were active in the NAACP and they told Ma Jessica to always help people in need. Ma Jessica was a public health worker. She moved to 2025 Marion Street and used this house as a residence, office, meeting place, and for lodging for civil rights associates. Ma Jessica did three main things to help people in need. She joined the NAACP to protest for equal rights, desegregated schools, and women's rights. Many people of the NAACP gathered on the streets to protest for the rights they wanted. Because of her involvement in the NAACP, her life and home became targets. Their house was shot at and she was accused of subverse activities and investigated by the House of Un-American Activities Committee. My Jessica believed in raising a stand to help others. She wanted to help everyone in need. Jessica contributed to the Briggs v. Elliott case to help others. She worked with Joseph A. Delane in the Briggs v. Elliott case. They worked together to write a declaration for a school lawsuit that called for segregated schools to be equal. This was soon called one of the cases that directly challenged the separate but equal doctrine. These were the two schools that, that were used in the case. As you can see, the white school is much better quality than the black school. Ma Jessica fought for equality by working in state offices. She was a member of the executive board of the local NAACP branch and she was chair of its program committee. She was one of the founders of the state conference and was the first chair of the program's committee. She was secretary of the state and the only woman to serve as an officer. All of these words describe Ma Jessica Simpkins. Created using Powtoon.